I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in the Maya Riviera. Now, the last time I spoke to Diego Milano, the Minister for Information Communication Technologies, we were, I think we had snow behind us. So That's it's right. a little bit different. Uh, but I want to hear about how, I want to hear an update about how you're doing in terms of ex spreading communication, spreading um, mobile technology to Colombians, and tell me what that is changing, how that's changing. You know, look at many people that see us today, they don't know about Colombia, they just know about the narco traffics and the mm -hmm. Pablo Escobar's, but Colombia is a different country. For example, Medellin, the most dangerous city uh, 20 years ago, today is the most innovative city in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we in Colombia are using technology to solve our problems. Like Colombia what? is the fastest growing IT market mm -hmm. in Latin America. Doing what? Focusing on developing applications for the base of the pyramid. We want to be the champions worldwide in developing applications for the base of the pyramid. The poor people of Colombia are already connected to internet, but bringing mm -hmm. internet to, to them is not enough. We have to develop applications that really change their lives. So we are focusing on that with the new software industry. So tell me, what are some of the applications you would actually like to see? What would well, actually change somebody's life? Look at, for example, we are developing an application for the agricultural sector, mm -hmm. so that or, or, or farmers can sell their products on the net at their prices, or they can get, uh, you know, their their uh, products also to, pr to, to produce mm -hmm. uh, at cheaper prices so, uh, or, or uh, applications to spread health services mm -hmm. in, in the base of a pyramid. Uh, so what, what we want to do is uh, not only connecting people but bringing value through applications. So I want to know how big the market is. So presumably it's not just Colombia, but there's elsewhere in Latin America. Look at our, our base of a pyramid is about 30 million people. But of course, we are developing applications for those Colombians, but we are starting to export those applications to the rest of Latin America, where we, ha where we have more than 400 million people in, in that base of a pyramid. And we are also looking at the whole world, which is more than 3.5 billion people in that base of a pyramid. Okay, so you've got a big market. Who's going to make these applications? Have you got enough people? The software industry. And the whole world is struggling today with talent for the software industry. And we are developing that talent in Colombia. We have a very, very strong program, which is a public-private partnership to mm -hmm. develop talent for this new IT industry. And who are the public companies that are involved in that? private companies. Oh, they're private companies. global companies. Mm -hmm. uh, global companies are involved as well as local companies developing that talent. Basically what we do is we uh, put the funds to develop the talent in whatever ways the private company uh, need. So we're going to see a Google campus coming to Medellin anytime soon? We already have not a Google campus, but we have many other campus mm -hmm. uh, already in Medellin and in many other cities of Colombia. And uh, uh, what we are seeing is a, f a rapid uh, change in the industry, and we are motivating people, young people, to uh, move from other industries to the IT industry. Diego, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here. Thank you, Maya. Maya Riviera, and I'm Edie Lush.